Hi, this is Patty and welcome back to our dashboard training. Today we're going to be going through a few more apps and I'm in the editor right now. We're going to make a slide um, that just shows local information, local weather, our time, and probably a traffic map. So I'm in the app section over here on the left hand side and we're going to pick our maps and traffic right away. I'm going to slide that into our lower left hand corner and I just want to use up half of my slide. On the left hand side you'll notice you have to put a location in there and I'm in Milwaukee so I'm going to put in my city and pick my state. You can also put your zip code in here and I'll show that um, in some of the other maps as well. I want to show the traffic in my area and I want to zero in and get a little bit closer in the Milwaukee City area. Now on the map you'll notice that there is a opaque, transparent opaque square right here. Um, and on the left hand side of that square is a little bit sharper image. It allows you to grab that map and move it around so you can uh, travel north, travel south, or travel west, however you want to position that actual map. So I'm going to leave it right about there. And you can see by the orange and uh, the green lines on here, you'll see how traffic is moving. On the bottom part of that map, I'm just going to put a little box down here. And we're going to make that transparent. So you can see through it and just add local traffic. Make that a little bold and make it a little smaller. Okay. So we have our local traffic. <clears throat> On the right hand side, it's winter time, so I always like to have a little bit of a backdrop. I used a basic uh, dark gray square here to offset our, our apps, but I'm going to add an image and I'm going to use our winter image and position that off to the side. Now if I decrease this in size, it decreases the whole entire picture and I don't want to do that. I really like this right hand side of our branch. So I'm going to use the crop. Just click on the crop and you'll notice that you have these red handles and I'm going to drag it over to the right and get rid of some of that other picture. So I'm right up to where the branch is. And then I'm going to click crop again and it will keep that picture that size. Now I can still drag it off to the right a little bit so that I marry up next to our local traffic. But I, now I have a nice backdrop for the other apps that I want to put up here. So I want to show our, our um, time. So we're going to go to our apps and pick our time. Now you'll notice on the left hand side it's asking for city again. So now I'll show you 53227 is my zip code. I'm going to put that in there. I don't want the seconds. So I'll uncheck that. And I do want to make this white so it's brighter and give it some shadow. I'm also going to increase the text size so it's nice and big. And we'll put that in the middle of our Grace gray area here. Okay, and we're just going to add a little bit of text up here and just say today's snapshot. I am going to give it a little bit of a color though. I like this buttery yellow and make it bold. Give it a little bit of shadow, pop it in the middle, and now it lays out very nicely. 
I'm just going to have a middle. Okay. So today's snapshot. On the right hand side, I'd like to show you how you can put the weather. We'll pick our weather app over here. And again, go to the properties, put your location. Easier for me to do the zip code. We're going to choose Fahrenheit. I want daily and I'll keep with the six days, but you can decrease the number of days to however many days that you want to show, but you can show up to all six days. Now on the um, calendar, on the weather, I do like to have a little animation on here and I like them to drop in. So when the slide opens up, this weather uh, each day is going to drop in. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to position that over on the right. Now to make that stand out, we're going to put a box behind it. And I've shown this before on other videos, your layering button down here. So if you hold on, I'll get that ready for you. Okay, so I just put a rectangle behind the weather and it made it pop out a little bit more from the background. Now what I'd like to do is I want to show our date. I'm just going to keep this box highlighted and I'm going to slide down to the copy and create another copy. It's exactly the same size. And I'm going to add our date. Oops, let's go into our date. And of course we can't see it so I have to Put our black font up there and increase the size, of course. Center it. Okay, so now we have today's date up there. Now we're always looking forward to something, aren't we? Whether it is the Super Bowl or we have the first day of spring or Groundhog's Day or something special that might be coming up and a special event that you might want to have countdown just make it fun so i just am going to put down a countdown to the first day of spring so we're going to go back into our app and we're going to put our time this is in our um, the uh, countdown is actually in your time app So if you look on the left hand side, you'll see the properties. You have a clock or you have countdown. We're going to change the countdown. And it's going to give me what's our targeted date. Well, the first day of spring is generally March 21st. And we'll pick it at 11.59 p.m. My city again. You can show the seconds if you want, just for the heck of it, or you don't need to, you can uncheck that check. And here's the fun part. Underneath there, we can say, yay, it is finally spring. Now, if you want to preview the message, all you need to do is click on this little check mark down here. And that shows me I need to stretch out our text a little bit so everything fits. And I can also make that text so that it's a different color. I think we'll stick with the purple. I'm going to uncheck that. It goes back to our countdown. But right above that, then, you want to add a little text. And just say, can't wait for spring. Or countdown to spring. Let's do that one more time. Okay, so I just added countdown to spring. And then when you go to your 
preview your message on your countdown, again, you'll see it's finally spring. So on March 21st, your verbiage will actually pop up. Yay, it's finally spring. So it's just something fun that you can add to your slide. Okay, so that takes care of our tutorial for our today's snapshot. Stay tuned for our next tutorial. We're going to be going through the website app, the QR code app, and our YouTube app. Stay tuned.